Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. In this video I want to announce the publishing of my new course. So in the past month I've been working on this course and it is finally out. It's on Udemy, you can find the link in the description to purchase it. This course is called Practical Web Application Penetration Testing, WAPT. This course focuses on the security of web applications and specifically in this course I will show you how to find, exploit and explain security issues in web applications. So what will you learn? So you will learn software security fundamentals. There is an initial section which is roughly three hours of content. The total course is around 17 hours of content. So in the first section, I go through the fundamentals of software security. Then in the, the main content of the course, however, the remaining 15, um, the remaining 14 hours is about how to approach the security testing of a web application. And when I created this course, I wanted to bring practical knowledge, practical understanding and the building of intuition related to an industry activity such as web application federation testing. So you will learn how to approach the security testing of a web application. You will learn how to reason about risk and threats associated to security issues because it is not just about finding the issue. It is also about understanding it and understanding it how to explain to the client. When you go to work, when you work in the industry, it's not just about the technical, the technical discovery of the vulnerability. There's also a lot of skill that you need to develop in terms of how do I explain it to the client? What kind of risk do I give to this vulnerability? And of course, I will also show how to document security issue through proof of concepts. So how to create a good proof of concept and how to write it in text. And all of this, by the way, is done by using Burp Suite. So we will use Burp Suite, one of the main tools in the industry, as an HTTP proxy. And so we showcase how to use it to find the different vulnerabilities. Now, as you can see here, there are about 96 lectures, 13 sections, and in total, we are pretty much 17 hours of content, technically 16 and 56. So the first one is an introduction, which by the way, it's free to preview. So you can just preview that. Then we talk about software security. So here I'm going over the basic idea of software security. I'm going to talk about security properties, about what is a software vulnerability. I will give some examples. And for these initial examples, by the way, you will be able to download some Python code to play around. It's simple code to showcase simple vulnerability. Then we'll talk about the concept of software risk and the difference between vulnerabilities and risk which is a very important difference in the industry. And we show an example of a software risk, which is a user enumeration. Then we'll talk about how can we measure security and the different kinds of testing activity. Of course, we will focus on WAPT, on web application penetration testing, because that is the core of the course. I will also talk a little bit about secure code review and other testing activities, such as red teaming, mobile testing, and so on and so forth. Then I will talk about two important systems, which are the CV system and the CVSS system. So why they are used, what they are used for, how they work, and things of this sort. We will do a practical CV analysis with CV 2022-22965, which is the Spring for Shell vulnerability. I'll talk about OWASP, so the OWASP community, some OWASP projects, and also finally I will talk about security in the bigger context of software development. In the software development lifecycle, how can security fit in in the various stages of this lifecycle? So the first section is introductory, it's just to base, to build some intuition, some foundational knowledge over software security. Then we get into the meat of the course, which is the WAPT activity. So the way I thought about teaching this kind of thing is I'm going to show how a real activity would play out. Of course, a real activity over a vulnerable application. So I'm going to introduce the application we'll be using, which is called Secure Bank. And by the way, you can find it here. And in the course, you will be able to download the source code of this application and deploy it on your own with Docker. And I'm going to showcase the single commands to do that. So don't worry about that. So we have this application in which, in which we can, you know, we can log in, for example, here I can log in as admin. I have the credential. 
I can log in as admin, then I'm inside the application, I can do some different uh, functionalities, you know, I have some transactions, here I can check the details of the transaction, I have an internal store, I can buy, for example, items within this, um, within this application, here I can buy items, I can search, I have some forms to search, I have a profile page to update my password and things of the sort. So there are different functionalities in this application and we will approach it as if it's a real activity with a real client. So I'm going to talk about how to deploy the application so that you can follow along on your own. I'm going to talk about the starting of the activity. So the initial email, what is the scope of the activity and things of the sort. Then we will do some HTTP testing setup and I'm going to talk generally about the HTTP protocol something about Nmap, although not that much, and then all about Birth Suite. So a lot of stuff about Birth Suite because it's going to be the main tool that we will be using. And then some little extras and some finally, fun, finally, and some finishing touches over this introductory section. So that is how we start the activity. And after that, we get to the real meat of the course. Here, as you can see, I have divided the, the different vulnerabilities into categories. So we will find 40 security issues and we will categorize them. Like for example, in information disclosure, here we have seven different issues in information disclosure. Now I'm gonna do a general introduction over that category, the kind of issues that we'll find there. And then I'm gonna describe in detail each issue and why it is a problem. I'm gonna do the same with injection vulnerabilities. Here I'm gonna do some SQL injection exploitation, path traversal, cross scripting, common injection, authentication, some authentication bypasses, some specific functionalities which are insecure, some password policy, we'll talk about passwords, about multi-factor authentication, authorization, we'll talk about IDOR, privilege escalation, both horizontal and vertical, what is the difference? And in this case, for example, here we have multiple instances of this same vulnerability. So there's gonna be a bunch of IDORs and a bunch of privilege escalation, both horizontal and vertical. We're going to talk about session management, so all things about cookie, about cross-site request forgery, and things of the sort. Business logic vulnerabilities, there are two specifically, there's also a risk condition. Validation vulnerabilities with file upload, open and direct, insecure deserialization, cryptography, communication channel, password storage, credential, randomness, and finally, insecure configuration. And at the end, I will just going to do a quick overview over the report and some possible next step for you to move on. Now, in terms of assets, as I was saying, when you do the deploying of Secure Bank, you will download the source code of the application so that you can follow along. And in each section, we will write a full proof of concept in which we can describe the issue with the various requests and responses. You can download the proof of concept and study it on your own. We will not develop a full report and the various proof of concepts have to be put together to do a final report. We will not do that. That may come in a later course, but already with this content, it should really be helpful to understand in detail what you're gonna do as a penetration tester. Now, of course, I did not put all the possible vulnerabilities in here. They are just 40 vulnerabilities. However, they do represent a good sample of vulnerabilities you will find, especially in the injection, authentication, authorization, session management, like these kind of things are pretty common. Like if you find some, you're gonna find one of these basically. In the future, I do plan to expand the amount of vulnerabilities to include even more, but already as it is, I think it's pretty competitive. Also with respect to the price, I put a lot of effort and this is like 17 hours of content where I explain in a hands-on way, like based on practice for everything that I say, I will show how to exploit it. So you will see it in practice and while I explain in practice, while I show in practice, I also explain the theory behind it. I give you some intuition over why it works like that. And basically that is the idea. Now, if you're interested, here I have a description. So this course has been developed with a clear objective, showing practice what it means to perform a web application penetration test exactly as it would happen with a real client in a typical week of work. So I really did not want to make things too theoretical. I just wanted to give you the sort of like in a job training experience that you would have with a colleague. Like you start in the work, the colleague is gonna follow you around for your first work experiences. This course has been developed with that idea in mind. And in my opinion, this approach will allow you to quickly reach the experience level of a junior penetration tester. 
So are you interested in working in the security industry? Do you want to learn how to test the security of a web application? And do you like hands-on practice-based learning? If you answer yes, then this course is for you. Because in this course, we will show how to test the security of Secure Bank, a home banking application designed as a training ground for penetration tester and web developers. And during the test, we will find more than 40 security issues belonging to the following categories. For each issue, we will find how to we will show how to find the vulnerable behavior, how to exploit it, and finally how to explain it using written proof of concepts to the final client. And at the end, you will find 40 different box for 40 different vulnerabilities. This should give you a very good intuition on WAPT testing, something that will help you get started in the industry or simply to refine your skills in case you need to. So basically, that is the idea. This is my first uh, paid course, so I hope uh, you find it um, enjoyable. I hope you get something out of it. I really put a lot of effort and a lot of value. I hope you will appreciate it. If you have any feedback whatsoever, positive or negative, just let me know and I will improve for later courses, for later material, and also for refining the already existing material, which I think is very good. But if you have some negative feedback, please let me know and I will improve it as soon as possible. So that's the idea. Thank you very much. If you're interested, go and buy the course, go and enjoy the course. I will leave the link in the description and in the comments as well. Thank you very much and have a good day.